Hello everyone. We are going to check out Space Haven. Um, I kind of played this maybe a month ago, more or less. <clears throat> and it's a game that's similar to like a space exploration. Um, you build your ship, you manage your ship resources, and you take on combat. Um, not from a ship perspective, but mainly uh, more similar to like an FTL faster than light uh, game that you probably have seen out there So um, we're gonna start a brand new game. Um, I'm still new at this so we'll set up a, a new environment here We're gonna do a normal game here. We'll call it. I don't know uh, YouTube Vid Guess we'll do basic platform. I think that should be okay. Let's go ahead and kick it off. Um, we're gonna do peaceful. Uh, just gives us some time um, to explore a little bit and understand the f the, um, the functionality and and you know the fundamentals of what's important and what's not important. Um, so I think we'll just stick with peaceful and we'll just start from there. I'm gonna start with the, the basic characters. Um, I mean. I guess I could change some of them, but I want to flip my head Charlie's there on. That was just so funny seeing her pop up here. Uh, it just takes takes back memory um, when she played in that uh, Alien franchise movie, Prometheus, was it? Or was it the other one? I think it was Prometheus. All right, let's go ahead and click Start. So the game, what it ha um, is about is that you start with a crew of four and more of a derelict you know ship that needs help um, in repairing and building up based on the resources um, of course you're you know you start pretty much from very minimal amount of uh, raw materials and resources to build up your environment so you would have to go out and mine you got to go ahead and um, Savage other uh, ships in the area and so forth just to get all the resources you need. So the interesting thing about this game is that you could the functionality of this game is you could just pan with your right mouse click. You could go all over the place here, zoom out. So if you zoom out to the farthest, um, you'll see this is your derelict ship here. You get mining for water ice i think this is um what is this again um some kind of a metal resource and over here is um uh, what is this thing no oh, some other metals here it looks like here i think this is carbon but i i can't remember all right noble metals and what is this again? Base metals. Okay, two different types of metals. Over here you have ice. You could convert that to water. And you have, I don't know, something over here. I think this might be like some kind of abandoned starship. And you got carbon. There we go. That's what I was looking for. All right, so the start of this game is that you need a tool facility here because you can't do a single thing without, you know, building a tool facility here. And this is the, tool, the storage containing all your supplies here. I'll expand this so you can see it. So you start out with hardly anything, no credits. You got water, you got some energy. Uh, you got some fuel, whole block to expand and repair your ship. Got some fruits, some vegetables. Um, I guess you could build furniture, energy block to expand your energy between your devices. Tech block. This is really important. Yeah, you, know, you know, to save and make sure you have enough because you can't really build anything without a tech block. Got your infra block. Um, artificial meat, space food. Sounds good. Fluid, I guess, for medical reasons. Medical supplies, energy cell, 
fibers, and you got some guns, and you got some fertilizer in case you want to get into or becoming a bot botanist. You know, so what we need to do first, um, let's build um, a tool um, manufacturing machine so we can build um, some tools to build the other parts of the, the ship. So I think it's on the resource. Uh, where are you? All right, tool facility creates tools. Okay, so let's build this over here. I think to rotate this is Q. So we're going to, I'm going to put it back over here. I'm somewhere close. I want this to be kind of out of the area here. And you see, this is a power grid here. So this right here is a power grid here. Um, and this is power grid is here as well. So the, the, the purpose is to build it um, within this um, green box to have enough sufficient power. If not, you would have to expand the power by building these little floor power nodes. And they take up resources. So I'm going to try to keep it within the power node um, section here. So let's go back to the tools. Um, I guess I could put it right here. Why not, right? So, all right, so yeah, that's enough power here. So now what they're going to do here is go and take the tools from the storage and start building this little uh, facility. It's pretty quick. You can see them building it right now. I think it's kind of kind of cool how they do this here. Now, of course, this game is still under development, um, so there might be some bugs. It's not fully complete, but it'd give you enough hours, you know, to fulfill the value what this game's um, selling at. I think this is probably selling at like twenty dollars more or less on Steam. Um, I'm thinking you could probably easily get thirty to forty hours uh, with what just what they give you. You know, that's more than enough for the value. That I'm, you know, that I'm, I think is like a wonderful value for something like this to explore and mess around with. So you get your money's worth. All right, the next objective is build an oxygen generator, build a gas scrubber. I guess the oxygen generator is needed for the oxygen for the my crew, and the gas scrubber is for the CO2. Um, I'm assuming that there's some hazardous gas. Um, so I think we need to do both and see, you know, where to put them at next. So let's go out here. Um, let's figure out the oxygen levels here. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. All right. I thought there was a way to view oxygen levels here. Oh, this is the power grid. This shows you the power um, from the um, power generator. You can see it all. It all connects to the power um, nodes. So we got two nodes here. That's connected to these grids. Um, what is this right here? Temperature. Uh, I guess it's moderate temperature. It's not too hot. Not too cold. Um, what is this right here? O2. This is the O2 levels. I guess it looks okay. CO2. Mm, I don't know. I guess it's safe for the CO2. Oxygen. Maybe just medium, looks like, or maybe even high. I don't know. Well, let's just do what it's telling us. So for the walls here, um, you're able to put the walls up, put them down. Um, we got the roof. Okay, so let's go ahead and what we want to do here is we need to put some oxygen generators around here. Um, to do that, um, let's see what we need. Oxygen generator and gas scrubber. Might be under life support. Yeah, oxygen. So we're going to tilt this over here. We'll put it right next to the heater. Okay, and need a scrubber. Um, that over there. Let them build the way. 
So what we want to do next is build a crew quarters here. Um, so let's go ahead and see what we have because they want to rest. I don't think they have enough rest to do much in the game until we give them something to s a bit to sleep on so they could re-energize for the next day. So let's look at furniture. All right, look at what we have here. Bunk beds, beds. So I'm all about efficiency and space saving. So I'm just going to create some bunk beds for them. Um, let's see. Uh, one here. One here. And maybe a couch. I think a couch would do, do super for them. Oh, wall thermal, thermal regulator. That's fine. Okay, put a couch there. And maybe a table, maybe, I'm thinking, but let's just start with that. Um, we probably want to do is build a room, a wall, I meant. So let's say with a standard wall here, and we are going to just give them some space here to walk around in case we want to expand. Okay, then we want to build up here, maybe the doorway there and and we need like a little door we have two doors we got a spacesuit door in case they need to get into their um, astronaut gear such as spacesuit or a door that could just enough to vent as needed or to open and close and make sure it's secure in case there's a hull breach so I'll just choose a standard door I want to spend the tools because you can see that uh, this creates a lot of there's a lot of resources here. This uses the infra black, and we don't really have many of these to, to spare. So I'm thinking just a regular door should be good. And this also uses soft block. So let's just use the standard door. Give them some time to build this up. Let's fast forward it. We can get cranking. Looking pretty good. Oh, look at what we have here. We have a problem here. We don't have enough power. Oops, past our power point. So we need to build a power node. And where is the power node here? Oh, in floor power node. Okay, so I'm gonna um I think I'm gonna do it over here. That should be sufficient, I'm thinking. I could just, yeah, I'm thinking, I don't want to, I want to create some redundancy here. I don't want to overdo it. Yeah, I'm going to put it over there. So I'll put the power node there. Um, let's put the walls down so we can see what's happening here. And we also need to put some lighting here. It looks like crap. So you can't see a single thing in here. All right, let's see what we have here. Um, where are the lights at? Uh, furniture. Uh, I'm gonna choose uh, wall light, maybe. I don't know. Let's see how it looks. Um, this looks good here. Maybe a wall light over here. There we go. Light up this area here. It's kind of dark. It's kind of you know scary over here. I see a monster come over here, maybe or. All right. All right, so let's let them build up what we okay, what we told them to do and the power node is installed. But there's no power. Okay, let's check out the power grid. Um click the power node. Um click the links over here. You want to link it from here to here. Okay, boom. Boom, okay. So now we got power. In this room, as you can see, it's charging the power node here. It's all green. Great, excellent. All right, they want a chair. All right, well, there's a chair right there. Go sit down. All right, we got light there, there. Um, it's looking even, wow, it's looking really good. Um, what do we have now? Okay, so we don't want to expand too fast because we need to gather some resources now. I think we're okay for the O2 levels. Medium. Ouch. CO2 is safe. I 
don't know if it's working or not. So I'm thinking that we need to do some mining. What do you guys think? All right, to do mining, these are the mining. Um, I would say these are mining uh, space vehicles. They hop in one of these. I think it's one person only, and they just head to the mining um, places where you choose to mine from. Uh, this is more like if you're boarding a ship out there in space. This allows you to transfer salvage parts uh, back and forth with this little uh, transport ship here. So we're going to zoom out and let's look at the resources. We have 46 water. Uh, would we have any metals or any uh, carbons? Not so much. So let's go ahead and go down to the carbon areas here and we just click on here and click on mine. Uh, it tells you what you want to mine from here. Um, one, two, three, four, or let's just do four for now. So mine, you want four areas to mine from. And that's all we do. So now you can see the guys are kind of walking to the mining vehicles shortly, getting ready. If they do it. Come on, guys. You guys want to go or what? There we go. We got it. Is she coming in there? Ashley? You tell me you're not going to mine for me? Like, what's going on here, guys? Oh, they're sleeping. Look at them. Oh, yeah, look at them. They're sleeping like babies on my bunk beds. Okay, you're you're awake. Are you guys gonna go mine from here or what? Oh, there we go. See them? They just took the mining ship out of there, and other ones heading to theirs, and they're heading over to the carbon. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Little docking bay here. Wow! Look at them. Okay, all right. This usually takes about a minute or two. What's going to happen is that each of these little blocks here, they're just going to take it back to the ship, unload. Um, we got two of them out there. They're just going to help them transfer it to the storage. Of course, our storage is full, so we got to start building stuff um, to use some of the materials or expand the storage, one or the other. Once this is finished, um, we're going to plan on mining um, some of the uh, metals over here, the noble metals. Um, I can't remember the difference between between these two. We'll do four here. Um, then we'll do some base metals, four here. And eh, we'll do some water here, four here. So they're going to be a busy for the next couple of days. So while they do that, I'm going to start expanding the ship. Um, one of the things that when you build a ship, you have to put the engine, it's a fixed ship, so you can't rotate it. It's not really an advanced uh, physics model where they actually, you can put the engine anywhere you want on the ship. The way it's designed is that the engine would have to be on this side here, on the bottom um, bottom right. Um, that's the only place to put the engine, so we got to make sure there's room enough to expand it to add the engines in the front. It could be the con control room and so forth. So let's take a look at the um, systems here and where are the engines? Uh, hyperdrive, I meant. So this hyperdrive can't rotate, it's one fix. So we got to put the hyperdrive somewhere over here in this area here. Uh, so we got to expand it. So I think we have enough hull block to do this expansion. So we're going to go ahead and 
um click on wall uh where's that wall other where is the hall i forgot how to do this oh edit okay so this is allows you to sketch what you you want it's like more like a pre-design similar to like prisoner architect where you sketch it out then you go over it again with your marker to commit your your changes so we're going to try to make it decent i would say i don't know one two three four blocks from here go out this far here maybe more over here one two three four so maybe about like this over here did i do too much here I certainly did, so let's just expand that, make sure it's even here. Yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, let's do four. Uh, I like it, five. Okay, I think that's good for the expansion for the engine room. Um, and let's sketch out the control room. It's going to be interesting, but we really want enough space to do... Um, where you want to put your um, irrigation plants, your food resources, and so forth. So we probably want to, eh, we'll just expand it like this. You know, I'll make sure there's enough room here. And maybe over here, one, two, three, one, two, three. So we'll just do this right there. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that looks even, right? Yeah, looks even to me. Alright, I think I like this expansion. I think it looks good. Um, hopefully we don't use up all our resources or we're going to be screwed here. So let's go back into where it says activate sketch. And let's go over it, right? All right. Okay. So we got them out. Sketch it now. How they're going to repair this, or how they're going to um, add additional hull blocks? Um, I can't remember. I think they might go in their space suit, fly out there in the space. I think go through this little uh, um, airlock chamber here. Uh, I can't remember how they do this. See, this is working pretty good. Pretty good power. Gas scrubbers work good. Let's check our O2 levels. Ah, it looks like it's improving. CO2. Yeah, I'm getting there. Okay, they're complaining that there's no chair around here. There's a freaking couch right there, guys. Come on. How are the uh, miners doing? Oh, wow. Look at them. They finished the carbon. They're getting... Some base metals. All right. Well, that's being done. What can we build in in this room here? What can we do here? Uh, I'd rather put that somewhere else. Jukebox. No, I don't care about that. We want a chair. But I don't even know if we have chairs here, do we? A chair. All right, let's give him a chair. Make them happy. Put it. Um, put one. Yeah. yeah. Put a chair over here. <laughs> All right, put it right in the corner. So what? Keep them happy. Why is this? Cannot raise oxygen levels. Build more oxygen generators. 
What does that mean? I... Wow, look at that. They're actually doing some expansion here. Check that out. It's pretty quick. All right, I got 46 hull blocks left. I wonder if, I wonder how many they're going to use. Building pretty quick. Uh, I'm just wondering how many hull blocks are going to be used for this build out here. I'm just a little bit worried. Um, how do you make a hull block anyway? What do you need to make a hull block? Assume it's resource, right? That's, I mean, this converts to uh, more like a microchip or a circuitry board, it looks like. Um, self, yeah, energy cell. No, I don't think that does any. It's medical related, chemistry. Hull block, okay. So you need steel plates to convert to a hull block. Okay, so the question is how to, how do you make steel plates? What do you need for that? Um, I don't know. <laughs> All right, steel plates. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see it right there, steel plates. So you need carbon and base metals, which we found 0 0.2, of course. Um, and how many do we have? Oh, we have plenty. Look at that. We got two, four. So oops, we have two of here, but we don't have the other um, other metals here. But um, I think we should have enough. It's like a metal refinery. That's pretty cool. What is this right here? Danger? But to build this, build costs. Oh, I see how this works. I need four infra blocks. See the tech blocks. There, you, like you need it for pr pretty much anything you want to build here. Um, yeah. Tech blocks. Tech blocks, and I don't know how to make these. I kind of do, but I kind of don't. So. Um, how many do we have of this? We still got 45 whole blocks. I can live with that. I mean, we'll see how long. It's going to take a while for them to expand here. They want another oxygen generator here. Well, how's our oxygen levels? So I'm thinking about putting one um, in the like right over here next to the power node. Uh, I may have to expand it. I hate creating power nodes if I don't need them. Oh, I got one here. I could put one here, maybe. Spilled one. Keep them happy. I think it's the life support. Some generator. I'll put it right over. Yeah, I'll put it right there. Because right now the f storage is full. We're over capacity. Oh my gosh, look at that. We need to expand this storage. Okay, we gotta start building. What the hell do we have in here? We got um, we got a lot of goodies here. Look at this. What's taking up all the storage? It's probably the water. I'm thinking it takes up takes a lot. All right. All 
All right, so let's get this thing done. And what else could we build here? Storage, we could build a bigger one, but I don't want to right now. System. Hmm. Don't think we're gonna you know, need shields right now. I don't think that we're gonna fight against anyone anytime soon. Airlock. Pod. Shuttle hangar. Don't need another one of those. We're good. Uh, nope. Storage. Nope. Food. We do need a place to eat. Yeah, they're gonna get hungry soon. Um, I'm trying to figure out resources. I guess I could build the metal refinery. We could start producing some of the steel plates here, right? What do you think? What do you guys think? Should I do that? All right. Um, I turn it like this. We can't go here. We could probably go right here and we could start because that's going to be important to make some of these um, tall blocks here. We could definitely use some of the resources that we're gathering right now because this is pretty much max, max capacity. There's no way. We'll, we'll be able to get this down anytime soon. I don't even know why it's able to store that much. It's, I assume it's, you know, giving me a threshold of something. You know, it should just dump everything out, but I guess it just allows it one time only. It's kind of weird. How are we doing over here in the mining? Are we done mining, or are they still mining here? Oh, wow, okay. Getting, uh, oh, look at that guy over here. He's wrapping up some some metals here for us. Oh, wow, he's getting more? Oh, wow, okay. Let's go over here. I kind of like the shadows of how it's flying low on this little asteroid here. It's pretty cool. Now, this update is the latest patch, uh, June 18th. Uh, I can't remember the patch number, but it's the latest and greatest build. What is this right here? All right, I'll let them finish that. What's going on over here? Oh, we still have... What's this right here? We still got this little de derelict ship here. I don't know what's in it, but we have to check this out. But even if we check it out, we have no way of, we have no storage for our materials. So we got to use our materials or build another storage facility or expand it. I don't know what to do now. Um, oh, happy. Look at that. This guy's thinking, what should I do now? Okay, let's build. Great. So what do we have here? We got, okay, we got, we got the base metals. Well, we don't got any noble metals. Why is that? We got carbon. Oh, we do have, I'm sorry, I take that back. We got noble metals, we got base metals, and we got four carbon. Okay, so let's click on here. Click on refine. Um, we want to create some plates, some sheet plates here. I would say we create, I don't know, maybe five. Let's just do five. Um, you could do continuous. Oh yeah, condition. Wow, look at that. It's pretty cool. You do if it hits this threshold, make more and so forth. That's what I'm assuming. So, um, so we'll do five here. We'll produce some. So they're gonna probably get the raw materials from the storage, pop it into this little conveyor belt machine, and there goes the uh, steel sheets pumping out. The other way. All right. Okay. What else can we build in this room here? Water purification. That is important. 
So I can build this. Over here. Yeah, what does this one do again anyway? This purifies... Oh, okay, this creates... Converts ice to water. How's our water levels right now? 45. Might as well. Won't hurt, right? We got power here, so let's do it. Ah, uh, what else can we do here? Water collection. What's this? Water vapors. Recycler. Wow, look at that. I think the recycler is good when we're savaging. Um, I remember last time I played this, once you start exploring that derelict ship down below, um, I'm assuming you could just scrap all this and convert it to materials. So we'll definitely need one of these guys. Recycler. So if I don't know if I have room to build this. Ah, crap. Almost. And that's... Eh, it's going to get in the way. My guys, maybe over here, maybe. Yeah, let's just wait. What's our storage levels right now? Ah, uh, we're going down a little bit. Uh, how are we doing here? Get some good materials. Are they actually working here? Steel plates. Oh, we got a sign. Carbon jobs associated with this facility. A sign. I guess it's a sign. It's like a worker. Oh, that's fine. I think they're sleeping right now. So, it's great. I think this is working. It's going to work out great. Let me just save this so I don't mess this game up. Overwrite. Yes. I think I have cloud saved here too. I want to log in here. Um, UFO. Ah. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of an old file here. I'm gonna upload. My YouTube video one here. So this allows me to um, continue this on a different computer as necessary. And well, and so I don't have to, it's more like the Steam Cloud save game sharing where you could just go from computer to computer and it just carries your save file in the cloud. Um, so if you have like five, six, seven, eight computers like I do, um, you could just switch around. You're not tied down to just one computer. All right, where are you guys? Are you guys sleeping? Here, let's fast forward this thing. This is getting kind of boring. Come on, guys. Hurry up. Wake up. Okay, you guys are awake. Start producing. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Producing metal sheets. Love that. Oh wow, what's going on? Incoming ship next turn. What does that mean? A ship in, in here? What? Storage full. Yes, I know that. Okay, what do we have here? Any sheets here? Okay, we got four metal sheets here. Look at that. Good job. We still got 42 whole blocks. And how about the water? Let's find, oh, we can produce water in here. I guess we do. I don't know. We don't need water. Uh, how much water do we have? Our ice. Or ice. 
guess we could do some uh, conversion later, but uh, we'll do it later. All right, this is uh, part one. We will continue this on part two, and I'll talk to you guys later. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thank you.